When Democrats won the House in 2018, their path to the majority went straight through California. This year, California is set to play an outsized role again. So grab a double double in fries, hop on the 10 to the 405. Just get on the 10 and get out of here. We're going inside the forecast for California's congressional primaries. Before we start our tour, some rules of the road. Take everything you know about primary elections and throw it out the window. California has all party primaries, meaning all of the candidates, regardless of party, run on the ballot together, and the top two finishers advance to the general election. So the November ballot could have a Democrat versus a Republican, two Democrats facing off, or two Republicans going head to head. Okay, with that out of the way, let's start in Northern California, where a new third district stretches from the Sacramento suburbs all the way down much of the state's border with Nevada. It's an open seat and competitive territory. Donald Trump won it by just two points in 2020. The primary pits Republicans Kevin Kiley and Scott Jones against Democrat Kermit Jones. No relation. In the ag-heavy Central Valley, there are three competitive seats. First, the 9th District, where Josh Harder, one of seven Democrats to flip a California House seat in 2018, is seeking re-election. The seat went for Joe Biden by 13 points. That's not quite safe in a challenging environment, so we have the district rated likely Democratic. Harder initially considered running in the 13th district until Congressman Jerry McNerney announced his retirement. That leaves the new 13th open. It's slightly less Democratic. Biden won it by 11, so we're calling it lean Democratic. One district over is the toss-up 22nd, home to Congressman David Valadeo, one of 10 House Republicans who voted to convict then-President Trump in January 2021. Valadeo has mostly avoided Trump's ire so far, though that's because Republicans realize he's likely the only candidate they have who can win in a Biden plus 13 district. Still, watch the primary. Valadeo has two Republican challengers, and there's only one Democrat on the ballot, State Assembly member Rudy Salas, one of Democrats' top recruits anywhere in the country. Moving on to Southern California, where Republican Congressman Mike Garcia is running again after winning two elections in 2020. A special election in May by 10 points, then the November general election by a minuscule 333 votes. Garcia's 27th district actually got two points more Democratic in redistricting, so we're calling it a toss-up. The Democrat who lost to Garcia in both of those races, Christy Smith, is running again, but some in the party think Navy veteran Quay Corte would be a better bet against Garcia and are rooting for him to finish second in the primary. Down in Orange County, Welcome to the OC, it's ground zero in the battle for House seats in California. In 2020, Republicans flipped back two of the four OC districts Democrats won two years earlier, and they did it by outrunning Trump significantly. That's a sign that traditional Republican voters who are repelled by Trump are still willing to vote for certain GOP candidates down the ballot. The two House GOP freshmen, Young Kim and Michelle Steele, won despite Biden carrying their districts. Kim is running for re-election in the 40th district, a Biden plus two seat that we've classified as lean Republican. Steele's path is slightly harder. Biden won her seat by six. We're calling that a toss-up. Two other Orange County races to watch, Democratic seats currently belonging to Katie Porter, and Mike Levin. Porter is one of the best funded members of Congress across the nation, but she underperformed Biden in 2020, so we're calling her Biden plus 12 seat lean Democratic. Same for Levin, whose district stretches from southern Orange County down to northern San Diego County. Biden won Levin's district under the new map by 11 points, but that might overstate Levin's position. This is lean Democratic for now, but bears watching. Oh, and because California is an all-mail ballot state, and those ballots can arrive as late as a week after Election Day, it might take a while to resolve some of these contests. Until next time, I'm Steve Shepard.